Well, hello and welcome back here to the Rim World. At the end of the last episode, we were being besieged by pirates. Going to build themselves um, some sandbag defenses and a couple of. Uh, what is there one there? Possibly just the one mortar. Which means we out mortar them. So, what we're going to do here. Lau is infected again, so she's going to rest. Clara's slightly hurt. Um, who do we have? Galga. Emmy and. There's Galga. Don't want you cleaning blood. I think we'll actually have a quick look at your. Okay, plenty of food and rest. draft you, keep on forgetting to do that, let's draft you and then you can man this mortar and who else should we have Galga, Emmy, yeah, there's just Galga and Emmy there how about one of the new guys, Fox what do you like okay not so good Spiffy not so good either uh, oh Lau's infected don't want you Galga we've already picked her dinner, her dinner is good. A little bit far away and off hunting elk. Now I think what I want you to do is man this mortar. Do apologize if you can hear some thumping. My neighbor has decided this is a perfect time to hammer something into something else, presumably, but that's just a guess on my part. Right, we're firing all right. Uh, let's see how we, this ace is going to turn out. The villagers are leaving. Don't seem to be in that much of a hurry to make that mortar, which only works well for us. They don't actually have much food there either, which works well for us as well. I think we're just going to wear them down. And deal with this problem later on. Now. Okay, you've developed an immunity for both of those. That's fine. Fox is resting. Right, great. Okay, that's not really a problem. So let's speed things up again. Let the night pass by. Oh, okay. We have our tool bench, tool construction bench. Let's add a bill here. Let's get a couple of. Uh, um, Pickaxes appeal to me to be totally honest here. Let's have a couple of those. And we'll equip those to our uh, to our uh, miners there. That'll speed up what they're doing. Sieging pirates for the gorilla man are assaulting the colony. Oh we got one guy already, that's good. And it appears that they never got around to building they never got round to building. That's excellent, right. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem here because this wall is down. But I think we can still get away with it. Right, let's get everybody. Let's just do it like this. Not Emmy. Let's draft you all and get you here. It's going to take a while to get here, so we've got a chance to have a ch time. Just look at our people and make sure that they're sorted out those with good combat skills and aren't hurt too much have weapons. I think Clara I might want you to sit this one out. What's your health like? Hypothermia. Yes, I'm starting to worry about that. Um, right, okay. Drop this. Okay, so drop the pistol and equip this tribal wear. What's the rest of your gear like? Are you just wearing pants? Are you? Good lord, no wonder you're shivering. Oh. Okay, so you can't wear pants and tribal wear. Okay, so gear, cloth tribal wear, information, uh, minimal comfortable temperature, minus 10 degrees centigrade. So that's actually going to warm you up a little bit for a while, so that's not too bad. Herdina, what do you like? You're starting to get hypothermia as well. What's your gear? Yeah, you just got a shirt, haven't you? And there was another. Wear this tribal wear here. 
Good timing there. Right, okay, Clara, and draft you, please put out the fire. Ben, go there, please. Galga, go there, please. Perdina, apparently you can't wear tribal armor and a tribal wear and an armor vest, which is slightly disappointing. But if you would go there, please. At least you're not going to freeze. And Lau. Quick pistol. And. Where do I want you? I think I want you there. Adina is moving Emmy. Why is nobody putting this fire out? Zone. Uh, add home region. Somebody should be fighting the fire. Actually, while I'm here, let's get rid of some of this. We don't want that to be a home region. We don't want that to be a home region. We don't want that to be a home region, or indeed... Yes, you guessed the rest of it. That. Or that. But we do want... That. And indeed, all of that to be a home region. So, we'll just tuck it in like that. I think something catching fire there won't be good for us either, so we'll add that as a home region. Same with this area here. Uh, let's make this a bit more comfortable. Now, who's fighting this fire? Uh, overview. Emmy. He's beating the fire. Okay, there is a firefighter, that's all that matters. Right, Fox, equip this bow. And yes, I do appreciate it. it's not the best of weapons for a, a siege like this, but uh, the best I can do for you at the moment, I'm afraid. And probably better than Spiffy's going to get because all Spiffy can have is a bit of an attitude, and that's not really going to help him so well. There you go, you can help put the fire out. In the meantime, we have got some people here. And assuming we win, we should have plenty of weapons to move forward with. Unfortunately, putting that fire out is not going to help in the slightest because the fire was burning in the middle. We're going to lose this soda panel, but it's not the end of the world. Okay. Galga, move back one. On second thoughts, deal with your problem. Ben. I want you to target this guy. Okay, that's it. Fox. Actually, I think I want you to target this guy. Emmy, I want you somewhere else, if you would, please. Pirates are fleeing. Actually, Emmy, I can use you here. Capture Ace, the shipwright. There we go. And how are the rest of you doing? All oh, right, marvelously. Okay, so let's let's think through this through. Herdina, I want you to strip Casey. And now I want you to strip that guy. Okay, um, have a. Actually, I want you to have the Parker. Have a Parker. What's your gear like? Okay, and what's your weapon like? Pretty terrible. So you have this M24. Excellent, right. And then you, we are done with. Fox, what's your gear like? T shirt, Parker. Trousers, and you've got a terrible weapon, but you can have that pistol now. Okay, Hadina, just tribal wear, not good, so equip that and then wear that. Boom rat leather, Parker, hey, whoa, wear that 
And you've got a fair, reasonably good weapon, so we're done with you, Ben. We are actually, actually, Ben, I think, why don't you wear that? Because a little bit worried about the way you got really hurt last time. And Galga. Yeah, you've only got tribal wear on, and you're a little bit hurt. So let's just undraft you. Fox. I think we're done with you as well. Um, actually, have a better weapon. There we go. Ben. Yeah, we're done with you. Excellent. Okay. Now, who doesn't have a weapon that needs one? Spiffy. Why don't you have this pistol? There we go. That's the pistol. Have that pistol. There we go. And gear. You've got her arm helmet. Herdina. Let's give you that helmet. Have a helmet. There we go. I think we are relatively sorted here. Emmy, undraft. Are you getting cold? Yes, you're getting cold. That's a, just a t shirt. I right, actually think about Emmy. We can't prioritize you to do crafting. Okay, right. You carry on beating that fire out. Looks like we need to do some repairs down here, but that's really not a problem. Okay, it would be nice if we can move forward on this stuff, but uh, not doing so well at the moment. That's a, a pickaxe. That's part of the uh, the mod we had a while ago, which uh, that we added a while ago, which uh, gives tools to increase uh, our. Um, crafting our working abilities, but it, it does replace the weapons, so we'll have to store some weapons somewhere. But that's going to, just going to be part of the fun, I think. Right. Galga's in bed, and unfortunately, Galga is our healer. So, Spiffy, where are you? What are you up to? Right. Actually, I think I want you to. Uh, Spiffy, I want you to. Prioritize healing Galga. There we go. Right, how many are we doing for. Oh, we've got loads and loads of medicine. That's not a problem. Where's all the shooting coming from? Oh, Herdina's hunting. That's alright. Okay. So we're actually doing fairly good here, do we? Who are our miners? Uh, our main miners are Spiffy and Fox. Okay, so we need to get them done. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's have a look at this guy. Hmm. Yeah, he took a lot, didn't he? But he's incapable of intellectual and crafting. He's abrasive and warm skin. I don't want him. Prisoner release. As soon as he's able to uh, to, to uh, walk, he gets doctor's care, but no medicine. And as soon as he's able to walk, he's out of here, which actually is going to work in our favour because it will give us an improved relationship with the Gorilla Men. Which means they're going to be less likely to attack us. And all is well with the world. Oh, we have a room almost complete. Um, right. Equip pickaxe and spiffy. Equip pickaxe is the reason why I made these things. Let me see, they've dropped their weapons. So I think what we're going to need to do here is make a store for weapons and. Over here makes sense to me. And while I'm thinking about it, uh, let's make a limestone conduit wall. Run it up there, and that's something for the weapons to cling on to. Yeah, that's done. Okay. Mm. 
group are visiting the colony. I don't know why those become drop down messages like that, but uh, right, move those and give them access to the uh, guns. Uh, yeah, we're finally starting to mine into where this metal's going to be, which is excellent. In fact, let's increase the mining orders. Orders, mine. There's two, there's two, and structure. Wooden door there. Pardon me, a uh, feature. Wood bed. Another wood bed there. Excuse me. A light there, which isn't going to happen for a while, and let's get some power cables going. Yep, just have it down there like that, and like that, and that'll probably do the trick. Excellent, right. And yes, we are fi finally mining some metal, so that the, the, the metal bits and pieces we need doing are finally likely to start. Like these guns, for example, are really important to us. Thinking about that. Structure. Limestone door there. Detecting the pile of. Well, that was a convenient location, wasn't it? And it looks like it was this uh, herbal medicine, right? Which doesn't appear to deteriorate anymore, which is nice. And that can go here. Medicine. Yep, we already put it down as medicine there. Okay, right. And there, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, people are just jumping in and doing the doing the cleaning up, just just getting it out of the way. We don't have to worry about it. It's not affecting morale. Everyone's happy. Um, all is good. Yeah, hold that down. Structure. Wood wall. That and we're gonna want a wood wall down there. We'll have a wood door in there. Let's get all this set up, and we will have a wooden bed like that. We might as well stick one in there like that as well, and standing lamp there. Now, let's get the next two bedrooms sorted out. Duh. This round will leave us with two free beds. Uh, well, one free bed actually, which is good. Uh, the temperature inside here could actually use some work. Um, we're not actually sucking enough heat out of here now, by the looks of it. So let's supplement the uh, the heat exchanges with that some actual heater, shall we? Put one in. Uh, should we put the right? We'll put one in there for now, and we will put one in there for now, like that. And I think one of those. You know, people aren't actually complaining about the cold yet, so I'm not worrying about that too much. It's the temperature. Okay, that that room definitely needs some help. Okay, so let's get a heater in there And let's get someone Clara I Want you to prioritize working on that. Let's get that done Yeah, definitely starting to struggle from the cold here a bit but at last, finally, we have some defences done. Excellent. All right. Now, in fact, we need to start looking back here. Power solar generator. We'll have one there. And power conduits. We still have a reasonable circuit. That's all right. And we'll have those power conduits going up there. So all we really need to do with these is reconnect. There we go, that one has power now, and reconnect that one a few times. Um, the reconnect 
just chooses a different location to try to get power from. Some of them work, some of them don't. Uh, but those ones will work nicely, and we'll reconnect here. That gives us power. We're now asking for too much power. But uh, we can get around that by turning some of these off. I only really need one on at the moment. Um, but uh, eventually I'd like to be in a position where a lot of them are on. But this, this will do nicely. And by the looks of it, I think we've actually gone past our 20 minutes. So I think we shall leave it there. Uh, so that was the episode in which we got besieged. And the next episode will be the last one before we put some more mods in. So until then, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been The Rim World. Thank you and good night.